Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You can get a job in the Middle East simply by trying or by magic through others or by a fluke. Remember that competition is everywhere. Some here, some there, but bam, Loy Macedo is the best. All right, uh, finally made my iced tea. Mm. So today I thought I'll make a different video. I'll show you. My wifey and baby is playing. Let me show you. Uh, you can see this wifey and baby playing. Helen, you see, bye bye. <laughs> She's busy. She she got a new toy, no? Mm, she got this new toy. Shoe. Uh, she shoe. What you doing? Shoe. Shoe. Mm. So anyway. Okay, I'll just make a video. Okay? Okay. Mm. So, I just thought do something different today. Uh, today is actually my off day. I'm supposed to be cleaning the room. Cleaning, I don't know if you saw my previous video. It's uh, uh, once a week or once every two weeks. I, I just clean up the place. Uh, delete all the files, the folders, the stuff. So, you can see cleaning everything, just making sure everything is proper. <sighs> and then when I took the, wait, where is it? yeah, let me give this here, Oops, sorry. Uh, so when I took the, yeah, sorry, uh, when I took the, um, how do you put this here? When I took the, let me hold it, okay. Uh, then when I was making the iced tea, I suddenly realized Okay, why not share a video with you guys, share a video where I can give you guys my thoughts. And uh, this is a pretty interesting thought that came to my mind, a very interesting thought. Uh, I shared uh, this message in my WhatsApp group. I was telling them that, uh, uh, you know, there was this one guy in my group, one particular guy, young yeah, man, from, I think he's, a, yeah, he's from India, but he's staying, he's not staying in India. So he was bragging in the group as to how powerful he is, how rich he is, how he dates only Western women. He doesn't date Indian women. Um, and uh, he's worth billions of dollars. He is more richer, more powerful than most of the billionaires. He's more powerful than <laughs> Narendra Modi. He's more powerful than that. And he was telling me that um, whatever information that I get, I should give it to him first and uh, he will ensure my protection. So he, he was a funny character. Okay. But the part which uh, was really crazy was he tried to show how successful and rich he was by sharing photographs of him holding cash. Okay. Money. Indian rupees. So he's holding some Indian rupees in his hand. And um, he put it on a bed. He put it on a bed or something. And uh, there, after he put it on the bed, these rupees, he said, see, my millions. <laughs> so it was kind of funny, okay? And um, the guys in my group were like, okay, fine, whatever and all that. So today I sent uh, my group a message and I told them, see, um, you remember that guy, he was sending all the cash? They were like, yes. So I shared one or two photographs with my group. And I said, you know, I used to do the same what this guy was doing once upon a time. I used to show off with all this cash in my hand. And I showed them a couple of photographs, you know, dollar bills, like $100,000 holding in the hand and showing off. So I, I told them when I was young in Dubai, I used to show off. I had a Lexus RX 330, I used to wear suits, uh, I used to show off with the girls, I used to go buy perfumes, you know, like, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not exaggerating. On a single day, I would spend at least a thousand dollars only on phone, on uh, perfumes. Okay, smartphones did not actually launch in a big way until then. Um, so I used to buy perfumes, I used to take girls out, I used to show off. So that was a phase. 
But the funny thing is today, if you actually look at me, if you compare, today I'm wearing this shirt. This shirt I purchased from Dubai, I think uh, five years ago, this shirt, five years ago, okay? The shirts that I have in my room, most of them are five years old, or I buy sometimes like, maybe it's like $2 or $3 shirts, okay? The shorts that I wear, see this, this short that I'm wearing, this short, this is also kind of four or five years old. It's nothing great if you actually get it, see, nothing great, okay? It's, uh, it's a simple material, uh, slightly expensive. Uh, this one um, uh, was in Dubai. I, I purchased for 100, 150 that time. But I've never purchased anything after that, okay? I've, let me, okay. I've never purchased uh, shorts after that. Um, the clothes that I buy, very ordinary. The slipper that I wear is hardly $1. If you see me here in Thailand, okay, if you see me and <laughs> you'll think I must be some kind of uh, uh, laborer or something, okay? I'm not trying to say that I'm filthy rich. Don't don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm not trying to say that, oh, I'm a billionaire. No, nothing. I'll, I'll tell you what I'm trying to say. Um, when I compare the person that I am today versus what I used to show once upon a time. If you look at that guy, the old law, you will say that law is filthy rich, he is successful. And if you look at this law today, you would say this guy is a beggar, this guy has no money. But the funny thing is, if I were to look at the finances, the person that I am today versus what I was there, Today, I'm 10 times more rich. And what do I mean by rich is savings, okay? Those days, I used to show off so much, but I was actually in debt. I was taking credit card, I was taking loan, and I was spending money. And even if I didn't have a credit card or loan, I was spending money. Whatever money I was getting, I was spending. Today, whatever money I get, whatever money I get, immediately, the first thing that I do, which my, my mentor had told me, the minute you get the money, immediately, the first thing is you save. First thing, 50% you save or 40% you save. You put some money in the bank and you don't think about it. You forget about it. Then after that, you keep money aside for expenses, for shopping, for grocery, for, uh, you know, for whatever you need. And last, whatever remains a little bit, that is your, what you have to manage. That time when my boss had told me, ah, like, what the fuck, who the fuck wants to save and all that. But today, when, uh, whenever I get money, the first thing that me and my wife do, whenever I get a client or a customer, the first thing I do after I get the cash in hand, I sit down with my wife. She makes a, like, see, she makes like this sheet of paper, okay? She makes like this sheet of paper and she writes down, okay? She actually writes down what is the expense, what is the, uh, you know, how much is the expense for the next month or the following two months or whatever. What is the expense, food expense, shopping, uh, grocery, electricity, water, internet, uh, everything. She breaks it down and uh, after that, Okay, how much is the money we have to put for baby's account? How much is the money we have to put for wife's account? How much is the money you have to put for my account? Insurance, lawyer, accounts, uh, and we just save. And then after that, whatever extra, okay, this is your pocket money, this is my pocket money. We're very fair, you know? And uh, that's how we live our lives today. That's how I live my life. You know, if you're really rich, if you're really successful, you will not show off. You will not try to buy an expensive car or um, post it on social media. Oh, I'm rich, I'm bling, I'm so successful, wearing these expensive clothes. No, people who do that, who show expensive clothes, who show expensive cars. And I'm telling you from a vantage point that I've done this, I've done this. People who show expensive cars, expensive holidays, expensive clothes, going to nightclubs, you know, jazzy joints, 
showing with your friends oh we're drinking we are cool we look so nice we look so modern we look so hip they are actually very empty inside they are really really empty inside and they are seeking social validation they are seeking you know like please look at me please look i'm special please look i'm rich please look comment like they are seeking validation because the people who are really rich who are really successful i have some of those clients and i'll tell you they are millionaires if you look at their profile there's no photograph there's hardly anything they they live very simple lives like for example have you ever seen mark zuckerberg showing he has racing cars or private jets have you ever seen jeff bezos flaunting oh i have this expensive a holiday i'm going to this night club i'm doing this expensive stuff no it's only like jack ma you know these these people like warren buffett they don't show off they're very rich but they don't show off so i'm not trying to say that i'm in that league please no i'm i'm a simple guy i say hey, you saw my house you saw my um, and that is one thing which i really wanted to do was when i got on social media i was really thinking when when i started to make myself get full time on social media should i show that i'm successful like sh- buy an expensive car and show but then i was like if i buy an expensive car somebody will buy a more expensive car and they'll be like oh you just have a toyota i have a lexus another guy will say oh fuck you you have a lexus i have a bmw another guy will say oh fuck you you have bmw i have rolls royce where does it end another guy will say oh look i have a fucking private jet then if someone shows 100000 dollars showing off another guy will say oh look i have fucking 1 million another guy will say oh look i have 100 million then you'll have uh, like floyd mayweather showing oh look i have billions okay floyd mayweather is an exception he does it because it is his brand to show off to you know like these guys like uh, what's his name um, uh that guy who sang uh, uh candy shop you know uh, m&ms and dr dre yeah they they like to show okay it's a different but the people who are actually rich not successful they will not do this so i thought at some point i will show life how it really is how my life really is I'm a simple guy i have a simple wife i have a simple baby we sleep on the floor no jazzy stuff we eat in the house um the only thing which i've invested in is my work my, the technology that i use because <coughs> that is important my education the books they are very expensive the cds the online courses all that is expensive um and yes you know i have been very open about it my addiction towards online gaming which i stopped now it has been 2 years 3 years before i spent 10000 dollars on <laughs> online games i was stupid so anyway now i have this pc you can see this pc game uh, you know all these games i have like uh, i have all these games online so i can buy as many games you know i have around 500 games or plus you can see i have enough and more games that will last me uh, and i have not even played any of them <laughs> <laughs> so i just keep buying i have a gog gog account i have epic account i have a steam so for my online gaming addiction i have three ipads i have a smartphone i have a switch so anyway that takes care of my addiction so i don't need to buy any more um, and the games that i buy is hardly 10 dollars or whatever okay so the point of this video which i'm trying to tell you is the people who really have money who are successful they don't show off um they are very conservative they're very private you know in my whatsapp group i have guys who are filthy fucking rich who speak to directors who speak to um big political leaders very powerful people very very powerful but if you see them you'll think uh, this guy must be a cleaner or something you know so if you are successful you don't need to show off that's the whole point of this video i have not purchased anything expensive in terms of like clothes or whatever and i try to uh, ask myself what i'm buying is it really worth it like food good food uh education the best education um matters of health no compromise uh but the accessories why why do you need them you know 
So I shared this with my group, my uh, WhatsApp group, and I thought I'd share this with you to tell you that, you know, if you're really successful in life now, if you're really successful, if you're really happy, um, you will not feel the need to show off. You'll not feel the need to show off. You'll be a very simple person. And your actual wealth is not the car that you're driving. It's not the big house that you're showing. It's not, and especially not the perfect life that you're showing on social media. It's the money that you have in your savings for you and your family. It's a time that you spend with your family. It's a meaningful things that you do. For me, um, being able to work on my brand, do what I love, be with my family, eat food together, eat simple food, uh, relax. You know, this for me is worth more than billions of dollars. And I'm very happy. I'm not saying that uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure if I had Jack Ma's wealth, I'd be more happy. No complaints if I have a billion dollars. But with the little that I have, no, this little life that I have, I'm very happy, very, very happy. So I, I still wear this ordinary shirt. I, I still wear clothes. You'll look at me and think this, this man is like some fucking beggar. Uh, and it's okay. It's all right. It doesn't matter. All that matters to me is I have savings, savings for me, my wife, my baby. That if in case tomorrow something happens to me, they can at least survive for a few few months or few years. So, and uh, yes, we have lived a very happy, meaningful life. So, I just thought I'd share this with you because we live in a day and age where today social media, you know, that uh, pressure to look happy, to look successful. Oh, this holiday, Mauritius, Maldives, Thailand, and oh, expensive car, oh, you know, jet, oh, this is my dream, this is the beast, and they show expensive cars, and oh, new member of my family, and they show this new toy, and expensive restaurant, all this is bullshit here, yeah. bullshit. <laughs> so anyway, I just thought I'd share this with you. Let me know your thoughts. I love to hear from you. And um, for the next one day, two day, I'll just be sorting out everything, cleaning up everything from my um, social media to my hard disk to everything cleaning up the room I like to keep it once a week completely and then delete everything clear everything and with a fresh mind start this next week with you know the report so anyway guys let me know your views let me know your thoughts um, I love to hear from you this is me signing off take care